Note number six. In this note, this note is about comparing different PPK results using different base station for hydrographic survey applications. So here I have a survey. I have a raw portion B data. I already processed using Postpack MMS using infusion single base post processing method inside the software with the base station called rod that's mean rodnet i can show the information about this station here i can have the um, latitude the longitude the height uh, and also the frame i'm not sure the frame is correct or not we will come back to this problem later maybe another in another note so let's assume that the coordinate is using here is correct we have the latitude, longitude and height from uh, the ellipsoid as well. So I think here is the navigation data, uh, which is here. But the, the base station data, I'm looking for that maybe it's inside here on the tree. So let's have a look inside here. So it's Roto here. So uh, the base station data here. This is a file name which was created uh, in 2014. The station called Roto. The format is Rhinex, uh, Rhinex uh, 2.11. The epoch is this time. The problem is that we don't have the information about the correct frame epoch. We don't have that information here. Or uh, even in the in this coordinate data file, we don't have that. We need to know it from the mm, location provider. But we don't have that information here. So let's assume it. The result is ITIF. So let's say we know that the coordinate system we need to know the coordinate of the station but we also need to know the, the the right coordinate system of that coordinates as well so in this case we know the coordinate but we don't really know which coordinate is actually referred to so we assume that the the local coordinate which is referred to is uh, ITIF 2000 the epoch is um, 1997 which is long time ago is probably not right because the time that this survey was done in 2014 which is not this current epoch and this current ITIF um, thing but we keep it aside and we just like, assume that that's the right coordinate system and uh, because of that and then we finish processing post-processing data using infusion single base and we have a report here and in this report we can have some information about the uh, base station so we can see that the duration is 23 hour survey it's pretty long survey um really it's a long observation for the whole day we can see the um we don't see the baseline here but we can uh, base length here so based on the gns qc statistics here we can see the baseline length is ranging or varying from uh, 18 or 19 kilometer to 22 kilometers so it's a little bit more than 20 kilometer it's in the rottenness island and uh, the number of satellite is, is, is from 4 to 20, so, so it, on average is uh, 16. But we can see that the number of satellites is dropping at this time a lot. So we can see other quality here as well. And if we check the uncertainty achieved by this method, we can see that the the accuracy achieved is um, the horizontal uh, accuracy achieved here is actually um, 8.5 centimeter for horizon to uncertainty. I'm not sure this is root mean square. This root mean square mean mean the standard deviation deviation or this mean or this mean uh, one standard deviation or two standard deviation. But I just say it in here first. So it's inside this inside uh, log file inside the single base mission one report. And I will say that the result for this is. So let's say this is PPP, a PPK, infusion single base, rotor. So the base station is rotor, Rodney's Island. And this is horizontal, I met 10 centimeter is low. But the next one is this one, so we spot it and we say it is uh, this one, but vertical, I met. This is 0 0.1 meter, this is low. Okay. Um, And then we go to and then we can check the real-time performance metric 
real-time performance metrics is worse because this one is up to 7.5 what kind of uh, correction is that let's check it so the correction was what is the correction only star vbs is not uh, g2 or is, is uh, less accurate let's port it let's say real-time as bad on the star vbs rise into IMS and then here is vertical vertical is also not as good as well they spot it you can say here is vertical IMS done for that um and that is using Rotnet Island and Rotnet Island is actually from RTK Nest West next is uh I'm gonna check if other station provide the same accuracy or not I'm gonna save this project as different name inside here I would say infusion single base so it's gonna be uh, infusion single base but I say that uh, I say it's uh, per the single base station now is per TPK <coughs> let's say that so now I need to check the survey day which is 2014 the month is uh, October and the day is 6 so I say Julian day and the GPS week I need to find this information for this, I go back to the NOAA NGS GPS calendar. Go to 2014. Go to October. October here. October number 6. No, October the 6th. So October the 6th, the GPS week is this one. 1813. And uh, the Julian day for October 6th. October the 6th is 279. That's the Julian day. I got it, so I can go to this CNSS data repository. I can go to uh, Australian data repository here. Let's say I open a new window and I go to daily. It's in 2015, 14. It's in October 18. So I can find for 1813. Look for it. Uh, no. What happened? The folders is empty. 1S13 we found it uh, 1S13 so we can say that uh, there is no 1S13 why? 2014 October the 6th is that the day? October October the 6th October October here the 6th the PS week is 1S13 it is but here we just look for the Julian day so 2014 and the Julian day which is 27, uh, 279 so what we want to is a one four two seven nine. Inside here we should have many stations. So we're looking for two stations closest to our location, which is Perth and Hillary. <coughs> so we'll say star and star. This is the station. Uh, and we say that the uh, G A R P E V L E U from uh, online download from online and we just uh, copy it to here so we just download it we can unzip it so after we say this as uh, infusion single base so this is one place that we can find this so we can have two which is the um, the first one is per not per but it's like that and the other one is Hillary Hillary one so we put this inside per and for the other for the other base station is called Hillary 1 so we also have it here so let's say Hillary 1 oh it's not quite so maybe at the time Hillary 1 was not set up so only Perth is available so we check another so, uh, location which is from FTP data GNSS which is a newer one in 2014 we check the Julian day which is uh, 279 yep. and we check um, Perth Okay. Uh, we have, okay. Uh, we have the same result. We check uh, Hillary. We have something here. For the other, we don't have it. But we're not sure if this is a Hillary one that we want to or not. So we just copy it and put in here and check later. So we can now already download the coinage. Next thing we can do is which is we can uh, download the orbit and other product as well. So to do that, we're gonna go to. Uh, the location that we can find the I can because I have something in here I already put it in here so I can go to this location 
and from here I can uh, just go straight to that I don't know I need to log in I think I think I have all have the login yeah so I just log in by myself so uh, the login is working well I just forget the password and I need to change the password but basically uh, I can go to this I can go to that location I have an arrow there which is not what I'm looking for something wrong with it I think something wrong with it there a cheap a kind it should be GNSS should be data or uh, should be daily and I can find the year and the Julian day which is 279 what I have inside here I'm not suspecting this so um, let's bear with me and I'm looking for the other one so IGS uh, GNSS product download so it should be in here I'm, hope, I'm hopeful hopefully I get it not the one I'm looking for where it is maybe it's one here you go so I should make this and I put it in here and the address for this should be correct it's actually this no it's not correct it, you, you put uh, when I put the it's, it's wrong it's absolutely wrong this is absolutely wrong with a better way which is doing this I'm not sure can, can I put a picture in the, the comment? I can't I can pick, put picture in there but I cannot post it Basically I cannot post it But yeah, I understand the way that this is not the place that I can do but Anyway, um, should be mindful of this so I can put it in my writing At least here So this is the location Okay, this is the best location for downloading data and um, this is product and I look for the GPS week which is 1813 1813 should be in there inside this GPS week I'm gonna look for the date which is 2014 then 10 and 6 so that is the day I have so for every single day I can save this and I can put inside here I would say this is um what is that I'm not sure how to say this but uh, you would say GPS satellite in thermal rise orbit or satellite station clock so uh sat so GPS satellites a thermal rise orbit or orbits and uh, and clocks so all in there so I can download it I can click on here I can put in there because that's the exact day that I'm looking for I'm put inside that just say into it changes there's a lot there so let's go one by one I'm not sure that I'm doing the right thing now but this is a way that I understand now I think and I hope that someone can help to explain better and fix the way that I'm doing okay so I'm done for that and I would say that I need to say that I download from this website so maybe inside here I just say that one and then at the end of the day I will put inside here all the product but there are two different way, other way that I can also get from the other location which is better which is inside here inside FTP location so I have this inside here and this is also GPS product which is 181813 to be there and inside 1H13 I should have the day I think this is a better way to find it inside here I can find the uh, the right day that is best week so I just look for I think 2000 um, 
count the data is organized here it's organized by number of day in the week I think so so I can um, sort the data using uh, I think detail I think it's just sort the data by name and because we know that we know that that here uh, Sunday it this is this is uh, 24 2014 what was the day I mean 2014 October the 6th the 6th so it's Monday okay it's Monday and Monday is actually actually number one so we just find for one eight one three one something like that it will list all the data for the day we don't know which is helpful which is not but it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot for the day and then we just copy it and then we paste in here we can say that which is uh i g s e n s g i n g that one paste in there hopefully it's not too heavy the heavy is not good it seems like we don't need to extract it the data can be just like that itself that all bits and other stuff can be downloaded from there so that the way that we can achieve can copy this it's very heavy so we can sometimes say this day can be represented as 1, 8, 1, 3 and 1 this is another way of representing uh, Monday of the GPS week it doesn't take too long and I will quit it because I don't really need it now just a way to demonstrate and remind myself how to get the data for for PPP processing there uh, another location which is from university there and then the day 1813 inside there it takes a while and inside there we, we go for 18131 and it's a lot it's similar it's a lot and we just copy them all because they're all related in the net I'm not sure uh, with this UC at the EDU so how about that it seems taking longer but actually quicker than the way that we just go to the website and say as say as say as every single file so this server for me is quicker which is uh, from a university in I think in Europe it takes about nine nine minutes so we have IGS we have IGT we have IGU we had a bunch of COD COF uh, what does that mean maybe just all uh, GPS satellite ephemeris orbit uh, GPS and station clock all the information uh, or the best information that we can use for the side point listening can be found here FCP is not a good way to download data for speed so that's why it can only send one file at a time so that's why it takes longer time and I think the estimation is also not correct it's going to finish so the download is finished let's go to the other location which is GSSC okay so it's pretty much pretty, pretty much the same thing from different websites so we know that it's just the same thing from different websites so we can put it outside here and this one as well we just put it outside and if it's same we can override it and from here as well we just put it outside if it's the same we can just override must be overlap a lot of things yeah okay we're gonna test this later but that's the way that we can download it so next is we want to put the base station point inside postback Firstly, we're gonna remove the roadnest base station point. So this is roadnest base station point here. We can remove this. We can put in the perk point. Um, I was distracting thing, but I don't think we need to do that. Just grab the zip file directly inside. Okay, it's working. <coughs> the first point is there. And then when we download this point, we don't know as well the coordinate of that point. We know the coordinate. I think that there here's the coordinate of the point but we don't know the time that can uh, is that um, the time frame is referenced to so let's say we say that uh, coordinate manager and inside coordinate manager here <coughs> inside the frame is just set to the default but i think we need to set to the 
code right um, itf jail reference thing corresponding to the the epoch of time that the data was collected but now we're just assuming that it is itf0 epoch is 1997 and just skip like that then we have okay and then we can set it as base station so it will process the data i think it will check the overlapping time how many percent that the rover and the base station is overlap over each other um how many percent of the rdk solution is fixed how many percent of the solution is floated the quality how many satellite was observed and uh the drop out time and the solution fell it's actually taking longer than i think so we can see that uh, the fixed solution is 98.78 percent so the epoch the fixed epoch is 191956.9 i'll say that is the gps oh, the fixed epoch is that the fixed epoch is that 195.69 i don't understand okay and the next step we can continue and start processing the data so the initial base rover separation for forward or backward processing exceeds 20 kilometers so it exceeds 20 kilometers so the software asks us that um we continue or not okay we accept it it's just continue let's observe how we can get in terms of the result this is the estimation of the uncertainty it's looking it's looking better and better but not up to one centimeter level of accuracy but this is also already good five centimeter level of accuracy is this is insanely good yeah and this is uh forward processing when we do the when the software is doing the backward processing the the accuracy is going to be improved a little bit more so i'm not really in, don't know what's involved inside forward and backward processing maybe i can search in the manual here forward processing so what i found here is that yes there's no information explaining about what is what does it mean for forward processing and backward processing we just understand that with uh, navigation data with base station data with draw gnss data of the rover we can achieve better solution using infusion single base method so now the processing is oh let's do forward processing backward processing and then now is do precise forward processing so it's involved pretty a lot of different steps inside inside the processing method here you can notice that there is still some gaps in the satellite observation data but maybe navigation and motion and attitude data can help to overcome that now the the, so the software is computing smooth state and then it will write to expect alpha and then we can use it for other software such as uh, caris quamera high pack and other aerographic survey data processing data so now the aspect is writing out so probably it takes um, five minutes to process the data so with the amount of ram with the speed of new computer now this is a pretty much a lot of time maybe we use the online version of the software maybe we can achieve um can achieve a better speed so after this we can make a report of uh, how accurate the result is for horizontal position and vertical position so we can go to report and hit the qc report and export it to this folder inside mission inside report and save it and we can override it okay so we can read the report here the report said that the GPS station is first, so that's good. The processing method is infusion single phase is also good as well. Um, let's check the, the uncertainty for horizontal position. Okay, so we can see that here the uncertainty for horizontal position is 0 0.8, which is pretty much the same as roadless island station point so let's say this one horizontal here but uh, i would say per single base and then this one can export it uh ppk infusion single bay part but vertical and this one is 0 0.095 so if we check the result of oh, this one it's going to be in here inside uh, d drive inside the first survey you can go to lock you can go to um third point we can open this you can see here this uh rottenness island 0 0.085 and this is rottenness island 0 0.1 okay let's say the s bus is, is very bad real time s bus is very bad oh we don't have that what happened maybe the saving location is not correct we need to check that maybe it's inside here oh yeah we can just copy that 
and put back to that one. Yeah, we make mistakes all the time. We don't override this, no, we skip this, but we have some data more here. So we have S path, the real time, so we have photo of uh, horizontal PPK, but this is rod, the silence is 0 0.85, but is similar, uh, kind of better in a sense, similar, pretty similar. So put in top, the vertical position is 0 0.95, and this one is similar, 1. So actually, rod net silence is less accurate than this station, which is interesting. Uh, okay, let's see the, the baseline the base station so the base station information here you can see that here the distance is actually longer the number of satellites has to be less but we can achieve we can achieve much uh, the number of satellites is um, the same but a little bit better in terms of in terms of the position so what's wrong with the Rodnet's Island point it's not improving maybe the reason why it's not really improving because the Rodnet's Island is already more than 20k already because if we can compare in a map here you can say that yeah from here to Rodnet's Island is pretty much like from here to Hillary point Hillary point or e to per point so it led us to a question okay is Hillary point is going to be better than Perth so that's a good thing to do but firstly we say for this first and then we can quickly go to say S and then we say this time we will try Hillary one I'm not sure we have the um, base station for Hillary because maybe at this time the base station was not yet set up. Maybe at this time in 2014 there is only one station around Perth area which is uh, Perth 1. But let's give it a try. Firstly, we save as the data. Secondly, we're gonna... Okay, we're gonna... It's done, isn't it? It's done. Okay. Secondly, we need to remove the base station because this is a new project and then we can import Hillary in not sure that one is around yeah oh it's too far it's too far it will not helpful because the station is very far oh actually the hill one we have a bunch of Hillary point here it's a triangle of point here so this one is not helpful we delete it we just need one point which is this one and actually Hillary is helpful so we just need Hillary here and we set Hillary as 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 um that Hillary not sure the other one and then we set the Hillary as base station then the data is checking and processing the same as we do with Perth station and I hope that uh, because from the distance from here to Hillary is shorter somehow we can improve the result but at least we can compare, we have something to compare. We don't uh, subjectively think and state that which point is better. We just see the result and the result will speak itself. So again, the same, it will take some time to check the base station. Um, so it seems like not as good as the other one. Yeah. Then we say this first, we go to that, we run the processing. This is, and then the, this is the same, we will ask for the problem with distance from the base station and rover station is more than 20 kilometers and we just accept as yes and go ahead and let the software process the data hmm we have something here interesting what is that oh we have something here which is user app data temp temporary interesting we print out something here so we hit on this one oh okay. we report something we don't we don't use this we do the backward processing now and after this we can do the software will do precise forward processing i think so and it's uh compute the kinematic ambiguity resolution and then finally it will export to sbet.out file so it's uh the software smooth do smoothing processing now and now it's writing the aspect trajectory file outside it will take about one or two minutes to do that just start and then the processing is finished we can check the report of course we need to change the location for the report which is not in there anymore which is in hillary one and we override the previous report and the final step is getting the horizontal uncertainty and vertical uncertainty for both the PPK solution <coughs> and the real-time normal solution and we can display plot here and show the smooth performance and check it out well it's almost the same 
we can export it and check the location which is in theory and report so this one is pppy infusion single base just change the base station name and this one a dial position so it bring the accuracy from several meter to several centimeter or, or, or 10 centimeter so i'm gonna do the vertical one here and then i'm done for that so we can conclude the result is that the base station from Rocknet is not actually even worse in comparison with the base station from from Perth and the other base station uh, from from Hillary. And what I need to do is I need to note down what the base station this one is actually using before. So the base station name, so I can note it down for my study. But uh, for now, 2014 is is good.